Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this video, I am going to discuss electrical and electronic amplifiers. You know, electrical and electronic amplifier act as a signal conditioning device. Now, let's have a brief discussion on what do I mean by electrical and electronic amplifiers, how it will act as a signal conditioning device. First of all, I would like to share the screen to everyone. As you can observe, uh, we are on the where to discuss electrical and electronic amplifiers. I think screen is visible to everyone. Yes. Okay. So what do you mean by electrical and electronic amplifiers? Let's have a brief discussion. So in the creator circuit, you can call it as IC. So IC is considered as one of the electrical and electronic amplifier. Do you know what is IC? It is very simple. Group of circuit elements combined to perform a specific task is generally called as IC. You must have seen different varieties of IC like uh, 7805, 7808, LM741. Like that, there are different types of ICs. So IC is treated as one of the signal conditioning device. Most of the components in ICs are, you know, transistor, one of the active component, diodes, then passive components such as resistors, capacitors, etc. Then ICs are used to construct the various type of differential amplifiers, like uh, operation amplifier. Then mixers. Mixers are one of the major components in uh, com com uh, communication. If you want to construct a modulator, demodulator circuit, we require mixers. Timers are necessary. Triple five timer, we must have heard about that. Filters, active filters, passive filters. Then audio power amplifiers. Class A amplifier, class B amplifiers are the category of audio power amplifiers. Different regulators, 7805 voltage regulators, then comparators, etc. So these are the basic information about integrated circuit. You know, integrated circuit is a part is, is one of the electrical and electronic amplifier. Let us go ahead. So before that, you please note down the important point which I discussed. Okay. You know, operation amplifier is one of the example of integrated circuit. Operation amplifier is also known as differential amplifier, or you can call it as op amp you must have heard about op amp now let's understand the basic features of op amp what is called op amp what is the meaning of op amp so op amp is a linear integrated circuit it has high voltage gain what is voltage gain ratio of output voltage to the input voltage v not divided by v v that is called the voltage gain right and uh, it has high input impedance. That means it will uh, never be shorted. In high input impedance is one of the desirable feature. Also low output impedance. Okay. Then various mathematical operations such as addition, then subtraction, multiplication, division, differentiation, integration is possible. Is it is possible to perform by using operational amplifier. You know, op amp is a basic building block of integrator, amplifier, differential amplifier, then differentiator, DAC and uh, ADC and DAC, then active filters, SA, S and S hole circuit, sample and hole circuit. I will discuss what is SS, SA, S bar H circuit. Also, the operation amplifier is quite familiar for DC amplification. So these are the basic introduction about operational amplifier. Hope you understood why op-amp is required. That is the main purpose of sharing this slide. Moving ahead, let us continue the salient features. See, operational amplifier, uh, it operates at a low voltage supply, maximum 5 volt. Okay, it will operate within 5 volt. Low voltage supply. You can operate the operational amplifier with uh, with the low voltage, and it is quite reliable and inexpensive. Plenty available. 
so we will be discussing the ideal characteristics what are the basic features of uh, a good op amp op amp must have infinite voltage gain infinite bandwidth in infinite input uh, impedance and zero output impedance these are the ideal characteristics or ideal features of op amp also op operational amplifier comprises of uh, two dozen transistors eight dozen transistors like that different configurations are available now can you list out some uh, basic ic's of op amp which is available in the market of course uh, mu a 709 then lm 108 lm 208 ca 741 ct then ca 741t there are many more if you want you can download the data sheet so data sheet gives more information all the per type of performance temperature range and uh, uh, the different varieties of configuration everything will be available okay i think it's clear to everyone then uh, there are different characteristics different features of op amp let us discuss one by one so first one is called input offset voltage what do you mean by input of offset voltage so let us define input offset voltage first it is the voltage that must be applied at the input terminals to make the output voltage zero the offset voltage vary with respect to temperature so i would just wanted to show you the terminals of op amp like that so it, it you can represent the op amp like this correct it will have two terminal positive terminal and negative terminal and there is one output right these are the input terminal okay input terminal 1 this is input terminal 2 now it is a voltage that must be applied at the input see voltage that must be applied at the input right uh, to make the output voltage zero that is called the offset voltage i think it's clear to everyone likewise you can define input offset current it is uh, it is the net difference in the current that must be applied at the input terminal to make the output voltage zero so second part is related to current first one is related to voltage that is only the difference then what is input check current the two input current to make the output voltage zero that is called the input check current another important parameter called slew rate what do you mean by slew rate it is one ratio actually what is the ratio uh, it is the maximum rate at which output can change that means voltage with respect to time the ratio of output voltage with respect to time is known as slew rate it is expressed as volt per seconds that is a unit of slew rate it is one of the important parameter of op amp you can get the information with the help of data sheet then unit gain frequency you already heard about uh, gain right it is the frequency at which open loop gain of an amplifier become one that is called a uh, unity gain frequency another important parameter is called cmmr common mode rejection ratio okay uh, it is the ratio of desirable signal to undesirable signal okay it gives the quality of the particular op amp that is called a uh, cmmr ratio of desirable signal to the uh, undesirable signal that is called a cmmr so based on the characteristics you can define what is the ideal characteristics of an op amp these are the general characteristics then how about the ideal characteristics of op amp see before that i just wanted to show you what is an operational amplifier the symbol is in this fashion everybody can observe here this is your operational amplifier and we have plus vcc plus vcc and uh, minus vcc where to connect it? you just refer the data sheet then you will understand the pin details clear for example mu a 741 you can take a mu a uh, 741 ic just download the data sheet and uh, you will understand where to connect it. where to connect plus vcc where do you connect uh, minus vcc then output where do you connect output this is your output terminal one output terminal and we have two input terminal okay two input terminals one input terminal that is called a non inverting terminal another one is called a inverting terminal for example uh, this is one of the example of inverting amplifier okay inverting amplifier 
So you can construct it. You can make the op amp as an inverting amplifier by connecting uh, a feedback resistance at the inverting terminal, and there is an input resistance. So uh, this become uh, an inverting amplifier. So if the input, if you provide the input, for example, like that, I am going to provide the input. So what about output? So you'll be getting the inverted output, right? There is a 180 degree out of phase, phase shift of 180 degree. 180 degree phase shift. This is one of the application. I'll discuss later on. Okay. This is just for your information. Also gain you can calculate it. So gain can be calculated by using the formula minus R of by Ri. This is your gain. So if I talk about the inverting amplifier, gain is gradually reducing. If you compute the gain, we'll come to know that gain will be reducing. So this is called uh, uh, the inverting amplifier and uh, importance of open. I think you are understanding some important information about operational amplifier. Definitely operational amplifier can be used as one of the signal conditioning device. Now, one of the important question in the various competitive examination, also university examination. So what are the ideal characteristics of op -amp? You put it as important point. Definitely one of the questions will be asked based on this particular topic. It has in, in, uh, infinity input impedance, zero output resistance, correct? And uh, open loop gain will be uh, infinity. Ideal op -amp should have infinite open loop gain. And the CMMR also should be infinity, okay? Common mode rejection ratio. That should be infinity. Bandwidth also should be high. That means infinity. Bandwidth also should be infinity, right? Then gain should be independent of frequency. That you will come to know from the frequency response if you plot. Then zero input voltage offset. So these are the ideal characteristics of op -amp. So you should not get confused because most of the competitive, competitive examination, you can see these kind of questions, okay? So uh, try to make it a separate note for this, make a note of this. And I already discussed the same thing, uh, the operational amplifier that will compare the two input. For example, we have two inputs. So this is your inverting input, inverting input. We can call it as V minus, this is your a non-inverting input, we can call it as V plus. So how about the output? So output can be written as V naught is equal to gain. Let us say gain, gain into, gain should be multiplied with the difference between the voltage. Non-inverting terminal minus inverting terminal. This will be the output voltage. Okay. So we can call it as op amp as a differential amplifier. It will act as a differential amplifier. That means uh, the difference of input that reflects as the output. Okay, while computing the output voltage, you have to consider the gain as well. Gain and the difference between uh, input voltage of two terminals. In this session, I have discussed about what do you mean by an electrical and electronic amplifier. I have given some examples of electrical and electronic amplifier. Then you can say that Operation amplifier is one of the example of electrical and electronic amplifier. And uh, I hope you have understood the importance of operation amplifier. Uh, you can use uh, the operation amplifier for uh, different purposes in the circuit, like uh, inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier, then other type of application like integrator, differentiator, that we are going to discuss in the coming session. Let me know if you are having any doubts regarding this topic. So. I always welcome to you and you can put up in the comment box. If you need the PPT, kindly uh, re uh, give the request in the comment box. Definitely, I'm going to reply. So happy learning. Have a good day for you.